and you'll see here it says link to question number seven so let's look for that let's go into here and that's I'm gonna do control and F at the same time and I'm gonna look for the word link find next and I've got to go through some code that's also called link so here we see link to question number seven and let's change that to link now just uh, so we can see the change so we've changed this code so we go up file save and we can go back into our my website folder we can look at the FAQ page and see was the change made yeah it says link now to question number seven but online it hasn't been changed yet so we've got to go back into our C panel let me find that window here I've got a lot of windows open back into our C panel that's the one we edited okay so now here's where we can upload files and we want to upload the new FAQ so we're in the public HTML folder let's upload files let's select browse let's select FAQ now this is where it's important overwrite existing files we have to check this because we're uploading the new FAQ.html with the changes and we want to overwrite the one that's already in there so when we select upload it's going to overwrite the existing FAQ.html page and we'll just give it a little minute And now you can see that it says upload status. Upload succeeded, overwrote old file. It will only say overwrote old file when it's replaced an existing file. If it doesn't have an existing file, it will just say upload succeeded. And if you don't check off that little box to overwrite the old file, the upload won't succeed. So now our FAQ page has been replaced. So now we need to go back to our our online version at pizzadeliverysecrets.com so we're at the contact page we need to go down select FAQ and you'll see now online we have link now to question number seven and we can click this and it takes us down to question number seven so that's how you upload your website to the internet and this is how you get URLs like pizza delivery secret dot, secrets dot com forward slash whatever file name you want dot HTML. So now you know how to upload your website. And remember, our website originally, I said it was a folder. And we started with the website as being a folder on our desktop or on our hard drive on our computer somewhere. Now, through this step, if you need to go back and watch this section again on the C panel, that's okay. Go ahead and, and watch that again. But now with this step, you see how the folder on our computer now becomes a folder online. And that folder online is called public HTML. And you'll see when we click on the file manager here, public HTML folder and when you click in there you've got the same files you have some extra ones that are just in there by default but you have this about us contact FAQ it's the same files that are in the my website folder about us contact FAQ and you still have the same subfolders images and more pages but over here you see images and more pages and there's a few extra folders in here so it's the same thing. It's either a website is either a folder on your hard drive or a folder on a hard drive of somebody else that's on the internet and all a hosting account is is a computer that's turned on 24 hours a day, 7 days a week and it's set up through the DNS so that if people type in www.yourdomain.com, it's going to go to that website and people all over the world can view it at any time. So now you know how to upload your website online and you also know the address of the pages and the address of the page is very simple pizzadeliverysecrets.com let's go there and you'll see we're at our website 
Now, we're actually on the index file. If we look in our folder, my website, there's an index page. We click on that, you see it's the same thing. It has this index.html, but when you're online, when you're at the .com, this index page is understood. It doesn't display it here all the time. Now, if I type in index.html and I hit go, it's the same thing. It, it's the same file, but when you're in the index page of a folder, it doesn't matter. You don't need to say index. By default, it knows to look for that index file and display that. And all the other pages are in here. And you can also see if I click on this, it links to rapid4x.com. If I go back, all these menu pages work. Since we used relative URLs here, it doesn't matter where we upload our website, it's going to look in the same folder for those file names, and that's what it does. Here we used an absolute URL, so as long as rapid4x.com is at http colon forward slash forward slash www.rapid4x.com, that link will work. So, in a nutshell, that's it. So I want you to have fun uploading your first website, and I hope you're excited about that because it took me many months trying to figure out how to do this, and it was no easy thing. I didn't have anybody that I knew that was knowledgeable that could tell me, and I really had a hard time figuring this out because nobody out there told me how to do it, but I knew that to be online I needed a website to make money. So now you have a step-by-step -step system where you can watch these videos and you can get your website up and running in no time at all. So I hope you really enjoy this section on getting a domain name, getting a hosting account, and uploading your website to the web. Now, we're not done yet. There's some other stuff that I want to show you in the next set of videos, and these are just some cool little tricks. This is how you set up your email account. So if, you, if I have pizzadeliverysecrets.com, how would I set up the email address brian at pizzadeliverysecrets.com? There's also a few other things in here. Redirect pages, how to set up a page that will cloak your redirect. Uh, if you're an affiliate, you don't want people to see your affiliate link. You want them just to go through. So if I wanted to have pizzadeliverysecrets.com forward slash specialoffer.html, I could redirect that through a really long affiliate link and nobody would know it. Download page. I'm just going to show you what download pages for digital products look like and there's going to be some templates that you can download. Auto replies. If somebody goes to your website and says and sends you an email, you can have an automatic email reply that's instantaneous that goes to them and says, you know, thank you for sending your email. I just got it. It's going to take me 24 hours to reply or you can say five business days to reply. Whatever you want to say, it, you can send an automatic email back. So that's an auto reply and creating email addresses. And by the time you go over there, there's a few other things I'm adding to that section, so this is not even complete. You'll see it when you get to that video in a minute.